buddies, my name is Jacksepticeye, and welcome to uh, scary games in one video. I don't know how many I'm going to play right now, it all kind of depends on how long these games are going to be. But there's a few games online on itch.io that I have really wanted to play, because they just look awesome. And it is the month of Spooptober, so it's time to get scared, it's time to play some horror games. This first one is- why is it not on screen? Hello? Hello? Oh, there it is. Okay. This first one is called Perfection. It, um, I, it didn't look like a scary game, but when I clicked on horror games, it popped up. It looks kind of cool. I like the idea behind it. Um, so let's get in and try it out. Why not? Do you find yourself dreaming of something better than the life you lead? Always. Where your flaws can finally be yours to control. Irish Lock! No more blotchy skin. No more bad <laughs> hair days. No more fear of failure to achieve your goals. Oh man, I love this. Here at Never Better, we believe in a perfect world, and this world starts with you. We're committed to perfecting perfect to make your wildest dreams turn into a reality. <laughs> so you wow. can finally realize your true potential. So what are you waiting for? Make perfection yours. Make perfection you. Shampoo. Does it just say something about shampoo? Oh man, that's great! Oh, this is super cool! Why's my mouse on screen? I don't like that. Go away, mouse! Wow! Look at my perfect house, everybody! Did I put this together with my perfect face? My perfect body lifted that table into place! Oh wait, this isn't my house, this is an office. <laughs> Perfection in progress. Oh. So I have to become perfect? That music sounded a lot like Zelda for a second. Do 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 do. Oh god. My name is Peter Perfect. Peter Perfect picked a peck of pickle perfects. A peck of pickle perfects, Peter Pepper per perfect pick. Whatever. <laughs> We're dedicated to perfecting perfect. You can't perfect perfect, it's supposed to be- PERFECT IS AN ILLUSION, IT DOESN'T EXIST! We're dedicated- uh, please choose your gender. Uh, I am a male. Uh, which image makes you feel the most uneasy? I can see you. Um, none of these make me feel uneasy. These are all fairly normal things. Definitely not this, that's just a shattered mirror. Um, maybe the eyeball one? This doesn't at all, it's just a person sitting down in the dark. This one, cause just the idea of poking something in your eye, that's worse than any of the other ones. We hope you enjoy the rest of your journey to perfection. Thank you. Please make yourself at home while we prepare your journey to perfection. Okay. Interdasting. Okay, they're out to lunch. I wonder when they'll be back. Oh god, copyrighted music! Stop it! A dream is a wish that your heart makes, yes. Never better makes perfection... ...attainable. Please describe your symptoms of imperfections. I overthink literally everything. I'm really insecure about my body, how I look, and I worry too much about what, what people think about me. I can relate. Oh, we're gonna get real with this game. I like that. The lamp disappeared. <gasps> this place is not perfect! Okay, shh, 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 shh. Please describe your symptoms of imperfections below. Perfect me would like, w or would have short black hair instead of my shaved head. I'd be slimmer, but still stocky. I'd like to be more confident in myself and be more tech savvy. Oh, wow. That's Smile. me. Smile. You're on camera. Oh, God, I'm hideous. <laughs> no, you know what? I'm perfect. Just the way you are! Okay, let's head in. That reminds me of the beginner, beginner's guide for some reason. Um, my flaw is that I always... ...show that I have to be Im what? I have to be important things for me. I have to do important things for me. And everyone else, and I try hard to do it, but I never do, and in... Consequence, I disappoint people I love to be perfect. I would change my phone. Stop. 
So I changed my attitude of laziness to productivity, so I've never let down my friend and family- friends and family again. Okay, that was a hard one to read. I can't read handwriting, apparently. Alright, so I get the idea for what the game is going for. Whoa, god, sorry, I hit my mouse. Okay, not in use. There's nobody in there achieving perfection right now. Got it. This person's asleep. Wake up! You're in a dream! Whispers. Oh god, is it the people talking about me? Happiness. Even though I like my solitude, there's a part of me that's worried about being alone forever. See, the idea of perfection as well is that... No, we all know perfection's imaginary. It doesn't exist. There's not a single thing that's perfect in this world. And it never will be. And that's completely fine. You don't need to be perfect. You don't need to achieve perfection. What you need to be achieving and what you need to be striving for is your best. This is not your room. Please continue down the corridor. Nah, I'm a peep. Okay. What are you hoping to see? Holy fuck! I saw Harley Quinn and then Bill Cosby came up really close to the lens. Is that his jail cell? Fuck. This music's making me feel better though. Do 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 Also the idea of perfection as well is completely individualized to every single person on the planet. And even then, you don't know what's perfect for you. Nobody else knows what's perfect for you, so how the hell would you achieve perfection? Not only that, but your idea of perfection is gonna change year after year. Every like three years you become a new person. Definitely uh, at least every five years you become a completely new person. You're not the same person you were five years ago. Five years ago I started YouTube. I'm completely different than I was back then, so what was perfect to me then is not the same as what's perfect to me now. I don't even know what's perfect for me. And I guess that's what the game is trying to show you, and by the end of it we'll see that. Uh, procrastination, depression, anxiety, to get talents to have more... aesthetic awareness, kinesthetic awareness? For status, respect, friends, love, to be more competent, to unlock a great mystery. Okay, that is asking quite a lot. Okay, this is a horror game. Fuck you! Permanent joints that utilize, but what am I hearing? Oh! God, what are you? You've got like a chicken bone hand. Jesus. Layered with titanium for low density, making it lightweight and corrosion resistant and LED screen, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I can't put it on. It's not here anymore. What was wrong with his face? Do 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 It's a lot nicer when I think about it being Zelda. Oh god. It's glitchy weirdness, I don't like it. Can I look in the room again? Oh Now they're looking at me. I did put on the headset. Look at me strut my stuff though. Got me looking so crazy right now. You love's got me looking so crazy right now. <laughs> Oh, is that a blood bag? I'm watching because I'm curious. Oh, it is a blood bag. Whose blood is this? Not mine. It's blood type A. Okay. 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 We're walking down a hallway and everything's glitching. Fantastic. What's on the table? I'm feeling a little woozy, guys. I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. Okay, okay, okay. This is not perfect. Okay, I know that this is not perfect. This is definitely not perfection for me. Oh, I glitch again.
Who's there? Why are you watching? Because I'm curious. I'm a I'm a peeping Tom. I want to live vicariously through Why others. Are you watching? Why, Why are you watching? Okay, now it's watching me. Okay, these are all the same. Blood bag's still there. Creepy eye lady is still watching me. Keep waiting for something else to happen like it did with Bill Cosby. Okay. What the fuck? I'm back here now. What is this place? This is some sort of weird freaky utopia. Oh, the syringes that was on the table. Oh, the eye's upside down now. This is cool! Why do I breathe heavily when I look right here? Stop it! See? No, oh, I was just about to say it! I was just about to say it! No, 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 no! No! Fuck! Oh! I was just about to say this type of camera thing is a really good way of doing a jump scare. A really good way of doing any sort of scare. Like, just put something in the corner, like facing the wall or something, then when you turn around it's not there. That kind of shit freaks me out. And then it happened! Like knowing there's something behind you, but not being able to like see it kind of thing. Okay, let me go home. Oh shit. Fucking Johnny come lately over here. Oh, hi, Gimp! <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're not into the same thing. I'm pretty sure you're into way freakier shit than I am. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Let it, let it go away. It's me. I don't want it to be me. Patient name Peter Perfect. Imperfection to target. Fear of judgment. Self worth must be enlarged and not rely on other attributes. Enlargened, not enlarged. Synopsis. Is patient curious about their environment? Their curiosity makes them hyper aware of their surroundings. Ooh. Does patient follow orders? No, they made it their own they made their own decisions no matter the risk. Oh, I wonder if this would change if I went through it differently. Patient reaction when faced with danger. They showed promising signs of bravery. System error. Patient remains imperfect. Restart system remain imperfect. Oh, that's cool. You know what? You'll never be perfect. I don't care. I am going to- and it just closes. I am going to remain imperfect. You know why? Because we're all imperfect. That's the- that's what humanity is. That's what existence is. There's no such thing as perfect. It doesn't exist. It's a- it's a thing you make up thinking that you know what perfect is, but when you actually think about it, like, think about it right now. What is, what is perfect to you? What do you want right now that you think would make you perfect? And I bet there's a bunch of it in there that you have no idea. And the thing is that the the fallacy in this is that whatever you think makes you perfect, whatever you think in your head is going to make you perfect, like all these attributes that you could say right now that you say will make you perfect. Like if you just had this, I would be perfect. But then other people would start looking at you differently. Other people would look at you in a way that doesn't make you perfect. And that's the problem with it, is that somebody out there somewhere is going to dislike you no matter what you do in life. Anything you do, you could go out there and save millions and billions of people, and somebody out there is still going to be like, oh yeah, well they just did it for the glory, or something like that. Somebody's always going to poke at something you do, or you as a person, regardless of what it is, and that in and of itself makes you not perfect. To you, you may be, but how long will that last? Like, in 10 years, will you still consider that version of yourself to be perfect? Perfection is an always moving goalpost. So, I'll choose to remain imperfect, because that's what I like about myself. I like that I'm not perfect. I like that I'm just out here having as much fun as I can, and trying the absolute best that I can with what I have in the moment. And I will constantly be trying to do that, and that to me 
is what's perfect to me. You know, it's not even perfect. You know what that is? That's PMA. Trying my best with what I have in the moment every day. And sometimes that might not always work, but you know what? That's fine. And it's when you start realizing that as well. I'm gonna go off on a, on a psychological tangent here. It's when you realize that perfection is an illusion and you're never ever gonna get there. But once you start trying your best and start loving yourself for who you are, the, the idea that you are already enough. What you are right now is already enough. You, you can do more and you can push things and you can be more ambitious and reach new horizons for sure. But who you are right now in this moment is absolutely enough. It is good enough right now for who you are. And that is your base plate. That's where you start stepping off. When you realize that you are enough, perfection is an illusion and you just start trying your best, start loving yourself and taking care of yourself, then you can start loving the world as a whole. And you can start loving others a whole lot more. Because when you love yourself, loving everything else is easy. Loving yourself is one of the hardest things to do. Um, and like genuine love for yourself. Not this narcissistic, egotistical love where you think you're hot shit and think you're amazing. But actual self-love where you think, you know what? I'm doing good. I'm doing my best and I am enough. Outside of that, that to me is perfection. Bring it in. Bring in the next game. Nice. Go oh, there it is. Okay, this one's called... The Mask Reveals Disgusting Face. I literally only picked this game because of the name. The Mask Reveals Disgusting Face is an incredible name. I love that. The Mask Reveals Garbage Boy. That's me. Two years have passed since I've been diagnosed with clinical depression. Since then, things didn't get any better. My friends tried to help me, but nothing worked. Ultimately, it seems they stopped trying. I think they're disappointed in me. When all my hope was gone, I started to feel like I'm a drag for people around me. I decided to spend some time alone, in an empty house outside the town, away from the problems, away from disappointed friends. Jesus, this is getting real. Soon I realized that it was a bad idea. After a month spent in loneliness, I lost my mind completely. My pains have grown, I've become paranoid, but that's not the worst thing that happened. Something weird happened to this house. Today I found out that the house is surrounded by a grid. It appeared from nowhere. I tried to get through it, but no luck. I'm locked here, but why? Besides, I feel like I'm not alone here. I can hear strange sounds and I see things. Oh god, I really need to get out. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So, you spend some time- oh god, I can't use my mouse, I have to use the keys. Ooh, this is gonna be bad. Oh, this is cool, I like this. This is so old school. Can't use it, there's no signal. Can I use the computer? No need to use the computer right now. What if I wanna- what if I wanna look up cat videos? Ooh. Oh, it's so old school. Okay, you did say that you see things. Hope those things don't show up. Okay, a regular old bathroom. The idea that I have to use like a keyboard just for this makes it even more tense. Found a box of batteries. Oh shit! Oh, I am having a flashback to some game when I was younger and I can't remember what it is. Just like that sound effect really reminded me of something. I was like back as a kid again. Okay, I thought it was gonna go silent there for a second. When it goes silent, that's when you know bad things are gonna happen. Can I microwave a burrito? I really want one. Wait, what were you telling me I could- oh. I'm not hungry. I am always hungry. That's my secret, Captain. Oh, I don't want to be outside. Not yet, anyway. Oh my god, the 2D. <laughs> I need a key to open this. Okay. Have we checked everywhere down here now? Ooh, nope. Oh wait, that's where I came out. Alright, well, 
Out into the outdoorsies we go. Jesus Christ! Some mystical force pushes me away. This reminds me of the end of I'm Scared. It's dark, I need flashlight and batteries. Okay, well I have the batteries. I just need a flashlight now. Flashlight? Yeah. Oh, that's a key. Stuck, maybe a crowbar will open it. I'm pretty good. You know, I don't- I don't really feel like going down there. That looks like a place that would suck the life out of me. Okay, flashlight? Flashlight? Either one would make me happy right now. It's so spooky! The clock is ticking, but time means nothing. It is a construct. Created by the government. To keep tabs on us. 2131, maybe that's the code. Did I just see a face on that? <laughs> Not a fan of that. My old collection of records. All clocks in the house have stopped working. Okay. 2131, I'm gonna try that. Haha. <laughs> it's useless, Gary. You're stuck. Completely stuck and you can do nothing about it. All your life you've been walking down the downward spiral, and this place is gonna be the end for you. What the fuck? Still didn't find my flashlight! OH GOD! I'm fine. I'm fine. Shut up. Oh no. Oh, followed the blood, Cinderella. Cleaned the floor, Cinderella. Oh, sure, let's go down into the hole. Yeah, the basement was too dark to go down without a flashlight, but no, the hole is fucking fine. Here we go. Found the flashlight without batteries. I have the batteries! Is there any, like, menu? Oh, maybe it just triggers it. When I go down into the thing. Oh no! Oh no! What is it like to be caged? Do you feel like the- do you like the feeling of helplessness? You're dead, Gary. And soon you'll realize it. Boink, boink, boink. That was cute. Am I dead? Fuck, I am. Damn it, didn't realize. Uh. All right, here we go. Press F to turn on the flashlight. Bingo, bango, my name's Django. It's not, it's Jack. Actually, it's not Jack either, it's Sean, actually. Pleased to meet you. Whip, whip, whip. <laughs> I don't know if you can even hear that. <laughs> I don't remember the cellar being so huge. God, I'm gonna get lost. Okay, stay on the edges first. Crowbar! Oh no! Okay, okay, okay. I'm trying to find my way out of death. Shit. How do we get out? I want out! I want out! Baby wants out! Baby wants a bottle! 
This is it. This is it. This is escape. This is escape. This is freedom. Boink. 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 Okay. Cool. 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 I'm fine. Everything's cool. Everything's dope horrific. But why- why going down? Why always? Stay up here! Stay in the house! Maybe this is to visualize my downward spiral. I hope this place will lead me to an exit. Getting very big Dino Crisis vibes. I can feel the soil falling over my head, and as I climb into an empty bed, I know it's over. I don't know where else I can go. This has got some cool atmosphere going on. Like, the game controls kind of shittily. I mean, I'm getting used to it and I kind of like it, but... By, like, modern standards it would. And it- it looks kind of... Kind of crummy, but I kind of like that as well. God, this place is massive! Where am I? I need a key to open this. Oh, of course you do. Of course you do, sweetheart. Locked? No thanks! But enough of your shenanigans. I'm getting out of here. I'm a brave boy. Look, I ain't even scared. Knock, knock! I really don't want to open that door. <laughs> you know what? That's fair. I would- I would agree with that. Am I still looking for a key? Okay, I don't know if that means that you left or you broke down the door or now I have to run away from you. Woohoohoohoo! <laughs> Oh, well, no wonder you wanted to get out. You were just in a teeny tiny box room. Just go. Just go. Just gonna Chewy. <laughs> oh, this sucks. Man, that reminded me of, like all the days of, like, Penumbra and stuff. I miss those games. Oh, do I have to find more of these? There's one. Put in the cubes. Okay, got it. There must be another one close by here as well. Mm, no, Perino. God, it's hard control. I don't know if something actually is going to come out and chase me at any point. I'm kind of preparing for it. All right, go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. I put the squares in the square holes. Actually, I put the cubes in the cube holes, but... Game saved. Oh, that makes me uncomfortable. Does that mean something's about to happen? Does that mean this is way longer than I was expecting it to be? Probably. No! Ah! You better run! I am fucking on it! Ah, Jesus Christ! <laughs> I had to look! I had to look! <laughs> Come on, like you didn't want to look! You better run! There it is. I'm on it! I'm going. I wonder if any of those doors are open. I love this song. I'm going. I'm going. Okay, made it. All right. <laughs> well, it's saved again, so maybe that either means I'm going to do more or... It's just letting me avoid that again. Oh, no. This is my pistol. What's it doing in here? Why did you come in here? You haven't achieved anything by this. 
There's no escape. You're stuck here forever. A never-ending pain will make it die, you, but you can make it stop. The choice is yours. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, if I choose no, which I want to, obviously. I don't want to kill myself. If I choose no, will I actually just be stuck in this level forever? I will resist. I don't want to die here. Do you honestly think you can save yourself? Yeah. Time to take off the masks. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, I have 80 sanity. Oh, the mask is chasing me. Okay. Oh, I can shoot! Nice! Oh, God! Okay, I didn't realize it was that close. Okay, keep your ears peeled. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's very fast! Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Got it! Yes! It's like playing Doom. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, there was two of them! Shit! Yes! Take that, you dank, dirty, dank demons! Oh! It's all over. I finally managed to defeat my own fears. Cleaning up my mind. All this time my grid existed only in my head. My personal demons locked me up here. But I won and now I'm free. I've come back to the house and found something that what wasn't here before. A letter from my friends. They're not disappointed in me. They asked me to come back. Their kind words finally reminded me that I'm not alone. And there's still hope. Fully calm, I step out of the house, where just a few hours ago I was suffering my worst nightmare ever. Finally, I'm coming back. And this time, I will find the solution. I'm coming home. Oh, What a nice uplifting message to have at the end of all of that. That you can overcome your demons, you can fight back against your depression and your anxieties. And you can overcome whatever you want and move on in your life. I spit on my keyboard. Oh, that was lovely. I like that a lot. Okay, bye. Bye. Bye, game. Wherever you went. I don't know. Are you guys ready? Are you guys okay? Are you doing well? Are you hanging in there? Are you ready for more? All right, I'll give you give you guys a second to breathe. Ha <laughs> ha! No resting for you, okay? We're getting right into the next game. This one's called Nun Massacre. And I don't know, there's something about these, like... Oh, it's all frozen. There's something about these, like, really retro-looking styles, the CRT and the VHS effect and all the... the weirdness like that that I just love. Oh god, I can lean outside of the bath. Wait, what do I do? I can't... Can I interact with stuff? I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh! I think I'm supposed to wait. Hello? Oh, get out. I don't like being in the bath anymore. I'm gonna get all wrinkled. Oh, I got no legs. I wanna see down if I... I wanted to look down to see if I had any, like, wiener hanging out or something. Oh, goody! It's one of these games. You know when Amnesia came out and it made you open up everything and every other game developer was like, Hey, let's do that! That's scary! It's not. It's tedious. It's annoying. Whoa. I, I just realized that that song. And her, your, your. Dear Mrs. McDonald, I hope this letter finds you well. Your child is sick. Well, thanks for giving me the time to read that, even though I barely could because it was super difficult to read in this filter. The road is blocked, okay. 
Okay, I can read it again. Uh, is sick and needs your immediate... Is something? Al looks like alienation. Attention! Stupid. We would normally handle this, but the situation is urgent and we do not have telephone service. You will need to appear in person. Okay. Okay, put the letter down. What the? How do I put it away? Oh, escape. Okay, I need to appear in person. So we're going up to the nunnery. Go home. I won't go back. Okay. Pushing forward. This is kind of cool. Do I have to avoid nuns? Is that what's going on? I hope so. Nuns are freaky. Hey, there was a movie just called The Nun recently. A horror movie. I haven't seen it though, but I watched the trailer and laughed at it a lot, so... That'll probably tell you a lot about it. <laughs> oh, sisters! I want to get sister scared. I have a lot of stamina. Finally! A person in a video game who can run for more than five seconds. And it goes up super quick. Why even have a stamina bar then? God, where the hell is this place? I'm kind of glad that I ended up like jogging down here because if I had to drive down here, I would definitely have fallen off the edge of that cliff. So this is this game isn't free. All all the other ones that I normally play in these types of videos are free, but this one isn't. So. Oh, hell yes! I fucking love it! I love that shit, man. It's so cool. Makes it feel like the start of The Exorcist or something. Wait, where am I going? That's fun. See, how would I have driven my car here? What a hippity hopping going on. They're never gonna be able to catch me, because I... I'm getting super fit. Uh, but yeah, this, this is a... This is a game that costs money, so... This can't be right, can it? What? Like a mountain goat. So I think it has a bit more to it than just like a little like demo or something. I think there's I think this is like a full on game. Okay, Jesus Christ. It's locked. I don't see anybody around. Except murder! Dun dun dun. I'm really oh there's a person. I'm really hoping that we actually get there soon. So far, it's been like 10 minutes of just walking. Oh, they're gone. Oh. Oh, fuck. Okay. I'm into it. I see what you're doing. See you across. That's a good sign. And a wheelchair. A lone wheelchair. A wooden cross. Well, thanks. Oh, a ground, a tree, the rain. Okay, well, at least I'm making progress. I think. I have no idea. Okay. Hey! Can I come in? I see where you blocked the road. There was no way my car was getting up here, so thanks for that. Good looking out. It's me, Billy Bob Mountain Goat. Can I come in? This place is gigantic. Holy hell! Oh, sorry. Nuns. Please let me in. I am fucking sopping. Or 
are any of these a door? This game is confusing as all hell. I can't get in anywhere here either. Am I even supposed to interact with this fucking building? I honestly have no idea. Oh. Is that the light I had been seeing? Hello? Oh, okay. Progress. All right, I, <laughs> I realized as well, I'd been looking at the... Oh, please don't glitch out and freak out and mess up. We good? <laughs> okay, I'm responsive, good. Looking at like the VHS effect for so long, I looked over at my camera and I was like, Whoa! That's really high def! <laughs> like it looks so smooth and clean compared to what this is. Alright, where are we dropping? I need to fucking stop saying that. This is freaky, man! I have a ladder! Oh, I don't. I can't take it out anymore. Well, you know what? It beats me out in the fucking rain. Oh, no. I'm mistaken. It's not. This is so creepy and dark. Opening? What? Oh. Lighter, yes! Oh, mini little drawers. Neat, okay. Hopefully this doesn't run out. Oh, hide. Oh. If you're telling me to hide that I- Oh, now I know what kind of game this is gonna be. Just a TV. What do you mean, just a TV? TVs are dope. Oh, I'm so unsettled. This is good, though. This is nice. This is super atmospheric. Oh, oh, holy fuck. Holy fuck, did you see her? Wait, where'd she go? Oh, she went into a temporal hole in the fucking wall. Alright, they're scary enough as it is. I don't need time-traveling, phase-shifting nuns. Okay, someone's pumping up a bike tire. Why do I need a wooden plank? Oh, sweet jeez, this is scary. Okay, maybe it's the- oh. <laughs> Wait. What? What? Do I have to start the whole thing over again? No. Oh, I can skip ahead. Is that just gonna bring me into the- the nunnery then? And I don't have to do all that stuff at the start? I hope so. Stuff of the Star is fine for world building and everything, but if I have to do that every time... Yeah, okay. Uh, first off, that is complete horseshit. That you die as soon as anything goes wrong. What if one of the nuns catches me? Do I have to just... Come back and try again? Okay, I... I can't fucking read that right now. Alright, I'm sorry, little girl, but... Okay, fine, I can't bring you with me, so... Mommy dropped me off at my new school. I'm going to miss my old friends. I brought Bongo. Bongo the cat? With me, though? We have a leather... Uh, a, a teacher named Sister... Oof. I'm just gonna call her Oof. Um... Will she... Add... I can't fucking read this. Today we learned about... Whatever. Fucking kids. I don't know what they're talking about. Okay, give me this lighter. Dope. Alright. So. It seems like stuff might all be in the same positions every time, so that makes it a little better. A little less bullshit. Oh my god, that's so cool. So, Z is to use my inventory. 
A standard oil lighter. I can use this to see where I am. Maybe it has another use. Maybe. Um, lockpick zero status, fine. Look at that Tomb Raider 2 ass fucking menu screen. Oh, she didn't show up again. Huh. I don't know what that beeping was. Alright. Now I actually know what I'm doing. I even saw it and everything and I was- and I ran into it by accident because the momentum just kept going. Okay. Huh. Fuck. It scared the shit out of me. I wouldn't plank. Maybe I can use it to walk across something. Yeah, but how? How do I freaking put it down? Oh, F is to put it down? Barbed wire pit. Looks like I'll die. But the fucking thing fell down! Wait, does it respawn? Are you serious? Oh, this game is a bunch of horse shit. Oh god. Ah! Okay. Back again to Krispy Kreme. Okay. Stop it, you fucker. Jesus. That was really loud. Alright, maybe where it was interactable. Okay, fine. Picky ass game. Can you like save or something now? That'd be great. Oh, it was a naked little naked Bobby. A brick. That's good. Bricks are good. Oh, I can just jump through. Nice. I'm a brave boy. Radar? Oh, God. I don't know if I want radar. What is this? Fucking alien isolation? Ooh, baby. Snake, that is your soliton radar. Soliton radar. Does that mean they're close? Oh, I got a beep. It showed them as being close on the radar. Oh, I don't know if I want to risk it. There was another way I could go, though. Don't tell me this is death. Just don't do me like that. Please, give me a chance, at least. It's screwed shut, okay. Oh, I can just go around in the vents all day. I'm a sneaky little rat. Also, if I was coming to this place and then saw all of this, I would nope the fuck out. I would be gone. Even if my child was in there. Well, I'd probably go and try and save the child. You know, instincts and all that. But, also, fuck this, you know? You get me? Feel me? I feel me. I wish I didn't. Gate's locked. Can't go that way. Alright, so, stuff kind of glitches out as well when they're near. So it's good that we have some sort of indicator apart from just... ...the radar. What is this game? God, this is confusing. A paperclip! Ooh, because it can make a lockpick. Bed, what happened here? I, I don't know, sleep? Boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, horrible, horrible wallpaper. No one wants to see that. 
I needed to pee really bad in class, but mother- Oh, whatever. Problems of kids. I have my own problems going on right now, okay? The reason I'm not reading them as well is because I barely can. Can't carry anything. Okay, let me... This is my brick. Let me drop my brick. Let me hold on to these banditos. Oh man, I really want to try and like save or something. I'm afraid to press escape though in case it cancels out of the game. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, what do we do? What do we do? I, I have no idea how to avoid them. Sister Imelda? Okay, it cleared up. Oh no, it didn't. <laughs> Sister or something? Oh, this is so tense. My poor ass cheeks. Take a shower. Wash off the sin. Then the nuns won't get you. Or go take a shit. Yeah, that would be really helpful. A religious painting. Well, thanks, Captain Obvious. That big ass place. I mean, it did look pretty big on the outside, so that makes sense. What is up with this room? Data sneaking. Oh, oh shit! Holy, holy fuck! Jesus Christ! I thought I was dead. Oh my God! No, go away! Holy. Fucking shit, that's terrifying! Oh my god! <sighs> Holy fuck, that legit got me. I don't know what I'm doing in this game, man. I don't use my lockpicks. Oh no, it's glitching out again. That sound was so scary. So loud, my ears. Anything on this bed that I can get? No. I think I can turn the VHS effect off. Oh, I can make it look like a PlayStation game! Black and white. Oh, that's kind of cool! Oh, it makes it way easier to see. Okay, let's do this. I like the VHS effect, but... To a certain degree. Wait, let me see the... Oh, now I can read. I need to pee really badly in class. My mother of Apollonia wouldn't listen. I couldn't hold it... I couldn't hold it, so I tried to pee a little at my desk, but she found out. Everybody thought... Or everybody laughed at me. I had to clean it up and walk around. The other kids call me pee, pee pants now. There's worse names. I'm never going to have friends. I'm trying to pray more if Jesus is watching me, but I feel so alone. I don't know what to write, so that's the end for now. Oh, That's really sad. Used for some kind of surgery. Hmm. Fuck are you, wheelchair. I'm sorry, what? Who's playing with squeaky toys? They're close by. Oh, fuck. Where are they? They're fucking nowhere, apparently. Uh-oh. 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 Okay. I thought they were coming right for me. Jesus Christ. This game's gonna give me a heart attack. Oh! There's a mannequin arm! Oh! I think I'm on to something. I think I'm gonna win now. Is it here? I can't reach it. What the fuck is the arm for? Are you fucking kidding me? Was this here all this time? Oh my 
God. Okay. Okay. Well, we're up here now. What do we get? Ah, oh, wire clippers. You can't get any more items. Okay. Where's my brick? Oh no, mannequin arm is the thing I need to drop. Shit. What was that? No, I didn't want to drop my lighter. Drop the mannequin arm. Okay, now pick up the wire clippers. Nice. Surgery light. It's bright. Uh, of course it is. Um, Alright, now we can go cut the wires upstairs, at least. If you can remember how the hell to go there. Oh! Ah, oh, Jesus fucking Christ! Stop! Oh, let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go! Fuck, Jesus! Go away! Fuck this guy! Hi, I'm fine. Everything's good. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh man, what a mess of a game, but I kind of want to go back and try it again now that I kind of made some sort of progress. Maybe if I snip the, um, the cables, it'll open up one of the gates and then I can go further. I just kind of got dicked there at the end because I just turned the corner. There was no, like, glitchy shit going on and then I just turned the corner and they were there and then I had to run away and I... I wasn't aware of my surroundings of where to go and hide and stuff, so maybe I could do it again. I don't know. I like the the visual style of the game though, and it's very, very um, atmospheric, and it, it actually put me on edge a lot. And having that nun chase you, that is legitimately terrifying because that's so loud. It's so much louder than anything else in the game. Oh, man, I like the old retro look about it, though. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching these games. If you like them, punch the like button in the face! Like a pause! And... I made the rope. Whoosh! Whoosh! But thank you guys, and I will see all you dudes! Bye-bye to the eye! I'm gonna go meditate for an hour. Fucking bullshit.